Hey guys, Crafty Saber Road here, and welcome back to What Would Have Happened in Minecraft Story Mode. So today we are, uh, in the end, we're about to follow Soren, and Petra looks terrible. Like, I don't know how I can stress this enough, that she looks terrible. Like, the wither sickness is making her look like a vampire. She's, like, her skin is just turning completely white. She's got, like, this big infection on her left arm, that which she's covering up with that black sleeve. And she's coughing and just tripping and just... It's its not good. Whatever this is, looks like that's the way in. I have After no idea. You, dude. Dude. Here it goes. I have no idea how no one but me and Lucas have noticed that there's something wrong with her. I think Olivia kind of sort of thinks that something's going on because she asked me to check on Petra in the last chapter. But it seems like no one but me and Lucas even really notices that there's something seriously wrong with her. What happens if I actually bump my head into the trapdoor? It doesn't happen. Right. And here we are in Happy Land. Happy Land, Happy Land. What do you land. see? La 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 la. Please don't say more stairs. That's awesome. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Ah, so bright. <laughs> yeah, I bet. After being in that dark place so long. Ah! <gasps> oh my goodness! That's my body, Axel. My broken, battered Hang on body. A second. What? The I ground swear. is almost squishy, like carpet. Looks funny too. Axel lands hey, I can on see him. Again. So Glad much of the time. No, can you please get off me? Sorry, dude. Oh my goodness! I just wanted to hear them talk. What in the? It's made of wool. This tree, the grass, it's all wool. You're telling me that we've been resting all our hopes on this guy, and the whole time he's been building some totally artificial happy land? Well, it's real wool. It's real evidence that Soren is whacked. I guess after all this time to himself, Soren might have gone a little... off. A little is being generous. It kind of makes sense. The other members of the Order haven't exactly been... All there. We came here for nothing. Lucas, my goodness, calm down. What are we even supposed to do now? Are you hey, okay? Lucas, are you okay, man? Just look around, Jesse. If the greatest builder of all time has spent years working on this, what are the chances he's even gonna have that bomb, huh? I've had enough crazy for one day. Well, maybe he's done being a superhero, What's so he decided problem? to build a happy land for he himself. He's pretty upset. I have no idea. Maybe he's allergic to wool. Maybe. I don't know what's eating him. Hmm. Petra. <laughs> Was a bit of 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 a Hey, Petra. Sound effects. How are you feeling? So, on a scale of ugh to uh, how bad are you feeling? Somewhere in between, but I'm holding on for now. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? He is the greatest builder of all time. If anybody knew how to put in the secretest of secret doors, it's him. So I'm probably looking for... Well, to open a secret door, you need a secret mechanism. I cannot even talk to her. I cannot even speak straight with her because she is so white. It looks like the color white threw up all over her. Have you ever seen anything weirder than this place? Actually, 
Yeah. I once saw a villager dig a huge trench and fill it with, like, a million carrots. What? I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Look away. <laughs> That's awesome. I want to see that. She's gonna have to show me that when we get out of this disaster. Unfortunately, the Formida bomb doesn't freaking kill it! The command block survives, which is awful. And it means Eligar died for nothing! Thanks for nothing, Ivor! You know, at first I kind of just wanted to lock up Ivor. Because I thought, you know, he created a giant, unstoppable, hungry witherstorm, determined on turning the entire world into his dinner plate. But then I thought, you know, he had a plan. He didn't want to hurt anybody. He just wanted to prove a point. He was going to stop it, but he failed. And now that Eligard is dead in my other playthrough, I'm having very different thoughts. What do you want? Ouch. Petra's worried about you. Listen, I know I've been prickly, okay? But, Jesse, I think something's wrong with Petra. Yeah, other than the fact that she looks like a ghost. You have to have noticed. The lack of energy. The labored breathing. I... I wish I could tell you, but... I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait. Talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At I'm least sorry. not me. I'm a liar. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so I tell you what's bothering me, and now you have nothing to say about it? I, I'm sorry! Just leave me alone. Lucas, I'm sorry. Petra! If you don't tell them soon, I will tell them. She's driving me insane. Oh, I can pet him. Aw, oh, you like that, don't you, boy? Mm-hmm. Let's talk to him. Hey, Reuben. <laughs> high five! <gasps> high five, Reuben. I didn't high five him before. <laughs> what do I do next? I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? <laughs> What's that, boy? You see something over there? Okay. You doing okay, buddy? <laughs> well, I'm going to keep looking. <laughs> He's just admiring the pink wool. Hey, guys. Thought you could trick me, huh, fake son? Well, it's not gonna work. What's up, Jesse? Uh, uh, my relationship with Lucas is over. He hates me well, now. I talked to Lucas. Is he... okay? That was so unlike him back there. I mean, I know we haven't known him that long, but still. Ooh, that bad, huh? I yeah. guess we'll just give him his space. Yeah. <sighs> Axel, you were right about him. He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Alright, let's just turn on the mechanism. Cool! Yeah, yeah, that is cool. What's not cool is that now Lucas hates me forever because I know what's going on with Petra and he's refusing to freaking. Ugh. Hey. Refusing to tell him. Lucas knows you're sick. Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. He sees your freaking white face. I'm trying to hide it as best I can, but... You take care of you. I'll take care of Lucas. 
I'll be back. I'll be here. Mm. Petra, you look so terrible. I feel so awful. Neat. Petra, you need to tell someone. Now I wish that I had told Lucas. Last time I didn't though, and this is all about choosing the different choice. But I feel so... Ugh. What do you want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lucas, no matter how upset you get, you've got to keep it together. I know. I do. I just... What's your problem, Lucas? I, uh, kinda need to get to that lever you're blocking. Fine. I'm sorry! That wasn't too hard, was it? Walking one foot to the left? Nope. I think I got that covered. Because it seems like he does. It seems like he really, really wants to be punched. It's like he's begging me to. And if he begs, he gets. Hey. I'll be back. I'll be here. Oh, nothing to say? Fine. I feel like I should talk to Lucas again. I should try to make things right. But now it's like we have tension. I bet this wool feels pretty good under those trotters, huh, Reuben? <laughs> uh huh, he said. Alright, I'm gonna make one last attempt to talk to Lucas. I feel really terrible that I didn't tell him what's going on with Petra, but this is the opposite of what I did in my playthrough, so... No consequence. I can't talk to him again. He hates me forever now. Now he's gonna trust me less, and he's not gonna... Well, at least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. Forgive me? I don't think you can. Fine. Fine! If you're not gonna talk to me, then I'm not gonna talk to you! That's... weird. Hey, everyone! I think I found Soren's way out. to Weirdoville in three, two, one. Nice sleuthing, Jesse. <sighs> Sorry I wasn't more help back there. But when I think back to how I ran all over Endercon looking for Ivor, or when I got that skull, it's hard to imagine I did any of that now that I'm like this. Don't even worry about it, Petra. And don't apologize. I, uh, thanks. You really don't have to apologize. We'll check out the rest of the house. See if we can find Soren before he finds us. You don't have to worry about any of this, Petra. I'm not dead, and that's really good for me. I'm not dead, and we're making Guess progress. Guess the water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was actually the outside. No hope. I don't feel the need to explore everything, now that I've already explored it. I don't feel the need to look at every little thing. Let's go. Let's see 
what's Bust going on behind down. this door. Bust it down! Let's go, Olivia. And I call that one symphony in E. <laughs> A new composition to celebrate my newest discovery. That's him! This time, I observed Sorry. one place of block on top of another block. <laughs> what the? Entry, yes, but a sign it's just of a recording. <laughs> I hope I'm not imagining things. <laughs> After not all that, <laughs> he's not even here? <laughs> I, 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 I better eat something. I'm positively lightheaded with excitement. We came all this way, and for what? We're no closer to Soren than before. We can't give up now. Soren has to have been here at some point, right? Which means this place has got to be crawling with clues. Odds are it's crawling with something. Maybe there's and something there's useful on this record. If I can figure out what he's talking way. about. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. huh. Oh. Hide Maybe among them. Composition coming on. Hide among who? Uh... Jesse? Do you think Soren is talking about... them? <laughs> Then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. No way that's what he means. That's nuts! You heard that recording. He's trying to get them to build. You think he's actually training Endermen to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Endermen to build stuff. Let's they look around, see what we can find out. They need to bring Olivia into the spotlight a little bit more. This is like being in this room with her is one of the most exciting scenes she's had. Just the fact that it's just me and her is like the most exciting scene she's had. Unless you count like her fainting in front of Elagard. But that wasn't story changing. She needs to have like a story changing appearance. They're having one with Lucas right now. Where he's acting like the biggest jerk. <sighs> Found something. What you got? It's definitely some sort of crafting recipe. But why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for and a I, shape that simple? And I'm just being a leader. Because they're not for Soren. They're for the Endermen. This must be what he's trying to teach them to build. Soren's plan calls for six clay blocks. Those right. instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. I had to steal from a freaking Enderman. Which was awful. I'll take this one too. That's three I've grabbed so far. When we were here before, Soren punched us in the face. That was the only time anyone has ever gotten the better of me in this series. Like, Ivor hit me with a few potions, but that's the only time that, like, he could have killed me if he wanted to, but he didn't, which is good. <laughs> it's always good not to be killed. I'll take this one, too. It's always good not to be brutally murdered. And the last one we can get in here is upstairs. That is the only thing we can do up here besides look out this window. Look, 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 look. Look, look, look. It's a good thing they can't it's see Soren. me through this glass. Do you see him? Do you freaking see him? He's got his freaking mouth sticking out of the suit. Looks like this is the last block in here. so distressed that Eligard died in my other playthrough that I needed to just do it again so that I could see if she died in the other playthrough too. I'm Olivia! Hoping. Check it out! An Enderman 
Suit? Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense or... Wait a second! What would Soren need this for? In order to walk amongst the Endermen, you have to become an Enderman. You mean... This is the disguise he was talking about. Okay, so... If Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build, and there's a disguise missing from the stand... He must be conducting his experiment right now! Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means, if we want to get to Soren, we have to go out there to do it. In that suit and get punched that in the face. That leftover Enderman suit would fit me. I guess it's time to play dress up. <sighs> ah, ah. Olivia even said she was scared of Enderman. Am I gonna fail if I don't put if I don't press this? Am I gonna fail at putting on the suit? I guess not. I guess I'm just not gonna put on the suit at all. If I, if I, don't. I am a ninja. My hair still sticks out of this. How do I look? I don't think you want my so. honest opinion. Ouch. But it just might do the trick. Olivia's not the nicest. I don't know that she's my favorite I think Petra is my favorite character. Even though she's kind of, you know, dying. It's a little hard to give my honest opinion about her when she's all, you know, sick and dying. Oh, you know that's really creepy, right? Huh? The Ender Suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. I need to, like, push back this mouthpiece so that I don't look like an angry Enderman. Let's push back the mouthpiece. Hello, Did you find Ruben. anything useful? <laughs> Worth asking. I think he's scared of me. I have such a scary face. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? Yeah. The whole point of the disguise is to avoid I'll that kind of I'll be smart. We just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Uh, I won't die, don't worry. Ruben! Okay. I'm gonna leave off right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, the be sure to leave a like. My voice is getting really deep now. Be sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see more awesome videos like this. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.